Don't watch me. Watch Nolazine TV. The GCA thing. You now tuned in with Nolazine TV. Um, so, like, tell everybody where you from. I'm from Morocco, Louisiana, the West Side. Of okay, so like growing up, I'm like uh, growing up in Morocco. I'm like, tell them, you know, like, how was it like? I'm like for you. Um, growing up in Morocco, it was cool. You already know it's the same thing like every other hood. It is just you gotta make it out of the struggle. Gotta you know you gotta work. You gotta put that work in. Gotta grind and shit. Just like any other hood in New Orleans. Okay, so like growing up, I'm like, who influenced you? I'm like, first time I start making music. Um, from the West Bank or just period? Just period. Um, period, I can say like Kanye and you know, like probably like Soldier Slim, different people like that. Just Wayne, you know, the typical people, but I put my own little mix with it. Okay. So tell us, how did you actually come up I mean, with your name? Um, I had came up with my name basically from me having like a lot of like Spanish people in my school, Helen Cox and stuff like that. And I have a partner that was Dominican and stuff, and I got Dominican in my family. So I basically just like, well, instead of saying G7, I'm gonna just say GC ethic, because I might not really use Spanish words, especially in the black community. So Okay. So, like tell the world, I'm like, what's the average day like for you? Average day like for me, uh, me getting up, me writing music probably like three, four o'clock in the morning. Then I just like research stuff, watching different interviews, go to the studio, um, brainstorm, probably do a video, just really like mapping shit out. Okay. So, do you have any projects coming up? You say any projects? Yeah. Well, I just dropped um, Jackpot on July 23rd. You can go get that as on all platforms. I got a new video coming out next week. I don't know when it's coming out, but. I got a lot of things about to be coming out real soon, and I got a, a EP that I just really just wrote right before this interview called Blackjack, and I'm trying to drop that like two months, three months. I don't know if I'm making deluxe or not, but I got a lot of shit coming soon. Oh, but do you have any features? Yeah, I have um, Jizzle. He on that new, he on that new shit at Jackpot. I got J No he with me right now, and I got Big Seven. That's my artist. So you just working. So tell us what I'm like. Separate you, I'm like from other artists. What separate me is I'm very versatile. Um, I was brought up in the choir and stuff. I was soprano, so I really know how to use my vocals. I really give melodies. Like, I, f I call it like Negro spiritual type stuff, but like mix it in with the street stuff. So, you know, I just give you everything. I got the right production. I got everything that you really need to try to be a real artist. Not a rapper. I'm trying to be a real artist. So, okay. so you're a music artist, you're not yeah, a rapper. So, I, like, if, like, far as your version of, a, of, of being a music artist, versus a rap. I want you to explain why do you feel like you're a music artist? I feel like I'm a music artist because I tell stories from different angles. I don't just tell it from like the one street of everybody looking at, you know, the jury, the money, the car, the stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you the pain. Like I got a song on my tape called Nine to Five and I'm telling you like a struggle of, of you know, being a rap, but like people don't really talk about you building and you really get through the struggle every day and you gotta eat, but you gotta still put money to the studio, you gotta drop videos, then you gotta do this. Like, I'm really telling you all the angles that people are not telling you and putting it in the metaphors and putting it in like, you know, wordplay. And I feel like that would really give you being a real artist. Okay. So, like being in the music industry for a while now, tell us what do you enjoy most about it and tell us what do you actually I mean, hate about it. Um, being in the music industry, the most I like about it is just seeing the support when you drop something like a tape or a song and seeing everybody really like messing with you and telling you how they feel about it and you just walk in place and they notice you. And I can say the bad part about it is just the attitude that you get in the shit like far as like from platforms or from, you know, different artists and stuff like that. Jealousy, that's just really like the main thing I really don't hey, But that's with like... That's with anything. Yeah. That's with anything. <laughs> That's when anything, but I feel like it, it get took it too deep when it come down to music. Like, you know, people end up getting shot, different things. Like, people take the music stuff so deep that I don't feel like they have to. It's just a business, but people put their feelings in it too much, I feel like. Yeah, because most people have this, this, it was this, it was this thing, you know, everybody feel played like, yeah, easily. Yeah, nobody don't want to get played. But I understand that. I don't, I be feeling the same way. But I know now that it's people looking at you and you got to, you know, move a certain way. You can't just be outlandish and can't be lashing out and stuff. So you got to act accordingly. Really. And you can't let nobody trick you. I'm like, I should position. position. Yeah, that's what's up. Definitely get you. For real. Oh, so, how many, so how many, how many interviews have you done so far? Uh, This is my second interview. 
Okay. And so, you know, I want you to say, well, you were sincere on the head when I want to ask you, I'm like, what's the craziest, I'm like, question someone, someone ever asked you? I ain't really hitting no, I ain't really getting the, I just had, that yet. <laughs> yeah, because I had just did one yesterday and I had okay. did it with Nolan Nation, you know, he was really right. cool about everything. He went on no disrespectful stuff. He was really like, let's Well, I mean like disrespectful. Not disrespectful, like, but he went, he ain't asked me nothing out the box. Like, because right. I really studied interviews. I really watch interviews all day. I probably watch 100 interviews a day, like from different artists and different people and ours, or just not even just artists. I just, I ain't really getting nothing out the box in my terms or out the box. Okay. See. I got you. <laughs> so. Um, you know, being from New Orleans, Louisiana, yeah. like, do you feel like other music artists down here actually um, they support each other? Um, I feel like it depends who you are and where you're from and where you represent. I feel like if you not beefing anybody and you don't have no ties with anybody, you just a, a, a rapper that just make good music, I feel like you can make it far. But if you really got beef or somebody around you don't mess with certain people, it really be the people around you, actually. So I feel like that can really get you not really getting supported or stuff like that. But I really feel like that's where it really be, like who you hang around. Facts. So, um, you know, but another question, j j just in the topic of New Orleans and Louisiana, like, yeah. do you feel like local DJs, radio stations, and media platforms, do you feel like um, they can do a better job in breaking artists? Most definitely. It's, it's always room for improvement. I feel like they should tap in a little bit more, like see what the hottest songs are, just like get in with the younger people, stuff like that. Like just go to parties, go to functions, whatever functions you see, let's like, go on the TL, just go pop up there, like see what's going on. Cause like, they really got a lot of good artists out there. It's just people not tapping in with them, or uh, people feel like they tapping in with the people that's so called, like, you know, popular and stuff like that. So that just draw them away from not even trying to reach out to y'all and stuff like that. So I feel like they just gotta be a little more open with reaching out to people, really, so it can break the ice, I feel like. All right. Okay, so far as it, well, I have another question about just even the situation of New Orleans, Louisiana. Like, yeah. do you feel like you have to move out of Louisiana? I'm like, what's your music career? I'm like, reach a certain milestone. I like that you say certain, uh, uh, like you said a milestone. Yeah, yeah. I feel like when you can reach a certain milestone, cause you know you still gotta do like a little thing. Like I'm doing noticing TV and doing different things. Like you gotta do like it's like a certain. I can see. I can see it like. Way that you gotta do it, you gotta do this person, you gotta go to this person, you gotta go to that person, you gotta perform here. Like, I ain't saying you have to do it, but I feel like it'll be a good look. And after you do that, you got all like the platforms and that's in the water, and then you start venturing out and going well, to a different Well, Actually, my advice is to, is to not do all those platforms at the same time. Not at the same time. I tell artists if you can venture off to like different areas, different cities yeah. to do interviews instead of like, you, like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Oh, to not do it with all all the platforms. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like pick well, certain like times. One. Like, yeah, maybe yeah, like pick certain times. Like you could do one like, with this platform, and then probably six months later you could go. You know, yeah. And like, and like build your content, and, and like kind of like spread it out. Yeah. Like I don't tell people to go on the media or just in New Orleans. Like everybody in New Orleans actually know each other. Yeah, I know that. And so you kind of really promote to the same people. You ain't really, yeah. Yeah, it ain't really helping you. So you gonna feel like you did a media run, but and it really didn't benefit you. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, I be trying to like give game to artists. Cause yeah. I'm like, it don't make sense for you to just be doing stuff. You feel like you ain't, you ain't growing. Yeah. So, yeah. but you know, <laughs> yeah, I understand it. But um, far as like even being in New Orleans, like how do you feel about just like this whole music scene? Like you know, we have a lot going on. Cause like a. And because like a lot of people choosing different sides and everything like that. Yeah. Can you explain like how you feel about just this whole like New Orleans music scene? Um, far as that, I really feel like the music scene is growing. I feel like they got a lot of people really coming up. Like they got Rob, they got Jizzle, they got you know, they got little things that I'm seeing that I didn't see before. And I've been rapping since I was like 15, 16 years old, and I'm really seeing like a lot of stuff come and pick up, a lot of platforms, a lot of, you know record labels and stuff starting to peep us. So I feel like it's doing good, but at the same time, it's still not where I think it should be at. So I really feel like we gonna have to join together as far as the West Bank and East Bank, just like me and Jizzle did. We just got on the song again. He from Seven Water, I'm from wherever. We got on the song, now his fans, my fans, my fans, his fans, we just gonna keep building on like that. And what I tell, like just my advice to all New Orleans artists, like, you know, 
And we kind of put ourselves in a box, like we just say, I'm from the West Bank, East Bank, like yeah, it's really like, it's just, yeah, it's just like, like you need you Louisiana, are. actually. You need to, you actually need Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana. like like you need to tap in with them artists from all those yeah. things, cause like, like it's the reason man. why a lot of these artists down here don't get shows. Like like even and like even the top artists, but they might get like one show a month. Yeah, like. Hey, but that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> like, Baton Rouge artists book every weekend. Every, yeah, yeah. Every day. Really. So you got to, like, really, like, I tell artists, like, you got to find a way to, like, maneuver around, mm. out, like, throughout the old Louisiana yeah. and stop sexing yourself off. Yeah, putting you in the, like, stuff in the box. Like, hey, just thinking you the hottest in New Orleans. Like, yeah. being hottest in New Orleans is broke. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to, like, go to Mississippi and everywhere. You got to yeah. make them people feel you. Yeah. You know, but they... <laughs> so, like, and so, like, in the next three years, I'm like, where do you see your music career going? In the next three years, I'll probably see myself in Atlanta, you know, working with different artists in the studios and stuff, you know, like you just were saying, like maneuvering my way around the United States and different things like that, doing shows. I'm supposed to be going on tour real soon and, you know, just really trying to get the ball rolling and use my connection that I've been had and trying to use to my advantage now. Really, that's what I'm trying to do. That's my, my three years I really see myself really on, though. Like, really, like, on, on. Okay. And so has there ever been one point in your music career I mean, when you just want to give up? Every day. Every day. But I always, I, some just, I just see something on the net or I hear a song from like somebody in the industry and it just make me just go harder and make me just keep going. It's like, man, it's either I look at it like this so cold and I need to step my shit up or like, man, I feel like I can do better than this. And I just go to the studio the same night or something like that. I just use everything as motivation to keep me going. Man, I have a good team around me. Okay. So, and so tell us, I'm like, what's next for you? Do you plan on, like, you know, dropping merch? Oh, yeah, I have, I have some merch. Start your own label? I already, have, I already have my own label. Working with artists? B7G okay. Entertainment, you already know. Um, you can, if you look on anything on Apple Music with me, it's B7G Entertainment, LLC, under everything. That's my label. It's all me, 100% on. I've been doing it for, like, a year, two years. I got, like, three, four artists. I got an R&B artist. I've really been doing this for, like, two, three years, and I'm only 23 years old. I just turned 23 years old, so I already looked at like a business mindset. I got an independent distribution deal, 80-20 deal. Like I'm doing, I'm looking at the, you know, the platform that Master P and Cash Money and all them had put in, like you know, inside of us. For I just can make it keep going. Speaking of Master P, and like you know, I, but I hear like a lot of artists speak on that, but like I don't see the artists actually putting that real groundwork, like like, how, like yeah, a Cash yeah. Money no limit, like yeah. like most artists down here don't even know about the chipping circuit. Yeah, they like, talking about like a Mississippi. Alabama. No, that's like all small. Little, yeah, it's not just Mississippi. It's like those small towns in those places. Yeah. like you know, like Louisiana. Like Bell, yeah. like, like you got to go to Louisiana, like bulky Louisiana. Yeah. You never heard of it, but guess what? Once you build a fan base, that you know, you got all yeah. the people. The people be excited Bugaloosa to see people. But the loose too talk about like yeah. way like, deep in like, Louisiana. I'm, I'm, I heard the chick. I had I was because I was on used to be on Clubhouse and stuff like that. We yeah. was talking about that, like the chicken circuit and then stuff. So I knew what you're talking about. I'm just I'm trying to think of the cities that do. No, it's it's. it's, it's Hey, but it ain't no city, it's the small town. Yeah. It's the places where people don't go. Yeah. Like, you know, like, and, and like, last year, cool, but I'm talking about, you got know, like, Jenna, Louisiana. Yeah. Like, because I, I if you ever know. notice, if you follow any Baton Rouge artists, you're going to see them in places in Louisiana you've never heard of. Yeah. But they're getting shows because they moving through the Chitlin yeah. circuit. Like, Baton Rouge get it. New Orleans don't. Yeah. That's why I hear so many people complain, but y'all not traveling in these yeah. places. Yeah. Like to even build a relationship to get the shoes. Yeah. You gotta move over. Yeah. You're but, right. I'm gonna take that to accountability though for it. You know, that's another thing I try to give in my I yeah. try to give game, like, yeah. you know, to help everybody there. Yeah. Okay. You're right. So last but not least, tell everybody what can they find you at on social media and just other music platforms. All right. You um you can find me on Instagram at B7 G C Um you can find me on Twitter at G C underscore. You can find me at gcg C on all platforms. Anything that you can name on on uh, B7 G Entertainment, the YouTube. We got one thing for all my label, for all my artists, and we just gonna keep rocking like that. All right, we done. Z, make them scream, N-O-L-A-Z-I-N-E, make them S-C-R-E-A-M, scream, Nola Z, make them scream, you heard me.